Hello, my name is Emma, and today, as you can tell by how loud it is, I am in New York City. And the reason I don't have my mask on right now is because I'm currently eating lunch outside, but I will be wearing my mask for most of the video, as it will be in public, so I'd recommend turning on the closed captions, which I've added below, so you can better understand me. I had to go to the city today in order to get medical clearance for some surgeries that I'm getting at the end of this week, and I also had to get tested for COVID. So I was going to be in the city anyways, and I have not been able to go to the city a lot, obviously during the okay. pandemic. So I figured I would use it as an opportunity to visit some of my favorite bookshops. So I know that by watching my vlogs, it might seem like kind of a different life because everywhere in the world is responding differently to COVID. For a while, the numbers in New York have been pretty low. So we're in stage four of our plan, which involves like most things being open. Numbers are going up again though. So I personally would be totally in support of a heavier lockdown again. So since I'm here and I don't know when I'm gonna be back in the city, I wanted to hit a couple of my favorite New York City bookshops maybe a couple that I haven't been to before, and just do like a fun New York City book shopping vlog. My tests are all done, so I have free reign for the rest of the day, and I'm currently just sitting outside eating some lunch. You can't really see the sign, but I came across a place called Dumpling House on 14th Street, and I got some chicken teriyaki and some dumplings, which has been really delicious so far. I'm really close to Union Square, so my first stop is going to be, of course, the Strand Bookstore, one of the most famous bookstores in New York. And then I'm also going to be checking out the new location of Books of Wonder, which they just always in the city. And also pretty close by is Books of Wonder, which recently moved to a new location on 18th Street. So it's going to be my first time in their new bookshop, which I'm really excited to see. New dumplings are what's up. So I don't necessarily have any books that I particularly want to buy, but I know I'm going to want to buy books when I get there. So I'm hoping to come across some new titles. My day has been pretty good so far though. The testing was super easy and on the way in on the subway, I sat next to a really nice woman named May and she was a reader so we talked about books and she let me pet her adorable dog named Kashmir. So it was just like the best way to start off my day. And it's also really beautiful out. Like I could not have had a better day to do this. So I'm excited. Also, I have so few reasons to get dressed up and look nice recently. So I ran with the opportunity today. Here is the outfit I am wearing with a skirt that I got on sale at Urban Outfitters, I believe. And so I'm just feeling really good. <laughs> so I will check in with you guys when I get to the Strand. I started my journey through the Strand in the basement and I got really preoccupied in the psychology section. I've kind of been looking for a book to read on cognitive behavioral therapy as it's one of my theoretical orientations. And the psych section is just really vast and I didn't have a specific title I was looking for so I didn't manage to find anything. But I'm going to maybe see if at a different bookstore I can pick up a book on CBT. I think I'm interested in picking up a nonfiction book today and also some adult fiction. So I saw a couple of titles that I've been interested in down by checkout that I might grab on the way out. But now I'm going to head into my favorite, which is the YA section. Yo, how have I not seen this cover of Moxie before? I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited for the movie. I hope it comes out very, very soon.
I finished at the Strand. I definitely spent a little bit more time there than I wanted to looking in the psych section, but it's all fine because that's what today is about. I mentioned there were a couple of books that I was interested in, but I decided not to get any of them because maybe you should talk to someone caught my eye and seemed like the perfect book for me. It seems to be a memoir about a therapist and her experience like getting a new therapist of her own and like what she has learned from that experience about herself and about being a clinician. As someone who is a therapist and also a client of a therapist, it just seemed like a great book for me. It seems like there's also some humor into it and I just feel like it's gonna be a book that will really stick with me. So the other thing I decided to buy at The Strand is a tote bag. Now, I definitely have like an abundance of tote bags at home. I do not need any more but I had been wanting a strand tote bag for a really long time and this one in particular. So it is this kind of like bookshelf-esque image that is drawn in the style of P.A. Montplian, who is one of my favorite artists and it has the Strand logo on the back. So if I'm going to buy as many books as I expect to today, I'm sure I'm going to need this tote, but I've been wanting it for a long time and it feels like great quality and I just love the print on it. So I'm very excited about it. And now we are off to Books of Wonder. Over there you can see the Union Square four-story Barnes Noble, which is one of my favorite in the entire city. But we are not going in there today because today is all about the indie bookstores. So this is where the old books of wonder used to be and it makes me so sad to see it all boarded up. I'm an absolute dumbass though because I came to this location intending on going to their new one which I think is just around the corner as it says so I'm not too far away but damn I got them confused. Y'all it's so gorgeous and clean and new I'm so excited to explore. I already found the book that I want to buy. Also, what is this new collector's edition of Anna and the French Kiss? I have never seen this before. I think I spy like a first edition or a special edition of City of Bones in their rare books case and I want it. wonder and made it uptown. I'm now on my way to the new Strand location that they just recently opened on Columbus Avenue. So I'm absolutely obsessed with the new Books of Wonder downtown location. It's gorgeous and stunning and clean. I was afraid that this move was going to be a little sad for the staff because they've been in that location like since it opened I think. And I know that rent was getting pretty high so I assumed like they were moving and it was kind of sad but they seem really excited about it and I can totally see why. The book I decided to purchase at Books of Wonder is How It All Blew Up by Arvind Amadi. It is an own voices novel featuring a Muslim protagonist who goes off to Rome to kind of like find himself I believe and when he comes back to the United States he is put in a very terrifying situation that not many people are able to relate to. I really enjoyed both of Arvin's books that I've read from him in the past and I remember when I filmed a video with him on my channel he was telling me about like the plot of how it all blew up and it was like right when he sold it for the first time so I've known about it and been excited for it for years now so I'm really excited to read it.
Y'all, I almost missed this entire other room on my way out. What a shame that would have been. So I finished up the Strand and I'm really glad I got to explore it. The last time I went, which was the only time I went to the new location, I only got to be in there for like five minutes because they were closing. So I took my time and it was wonderful. I'm excited to show you what I got because I bought two books this time. One for me and one as a gift. I also stopped at Starbucks because I desperately needed to pick me up. I'm losing steam, but excited to keep book shopping. Honestly, I don't think I have ever had a more delicious pink drink. And I want to make a note, I typically don't get drinks with straws from Starbucks, but we're trying to be safe. So right now, I'm gonna make a quick stop at another bookstore called West Siders Books Rare and Used. It's a rare and used bookstore. It's only like a 10 minute walk from the Uptown Strand though, so I figured I might as well hit it. And then we are going to start heading downtown again and hit a couple more bookstores before the day is over. Ah yes, it's like my personal bat signal. God, guys, this cat scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but hi, you are so beautiful. I hope you're resting well. Did someone say TikTok? It just occurred to me that I do not yet have a copy of Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer, one of my favorite YA authors. Who am I? What am I doing? What I'm doing next is buying this book for sure. Hood Feminism is one of the other books that I'm kind of been thinking about getting lately, so I'm gonna check if maybe one of the next bookstores I visit has a copy. I miss non-pandemic times where you could sit in these super comfy chairs in this like big open bookshop room and stare out the windows and look over the river. able to update you guys but I wanted to show you the two books that I bought at the Strands Uptown location and then I did just tell you what I bought at McNally Jackson I'm gonna tell you again first up I adore the new Strand location it is just gorgeous and has that like kind of rustic mixed with modern style to it. I feel like a lot of like bookstores like McNally Jackson seems to have a similar vibe. Their selection is of course smaller than the big four-story Strand but they still have like 
every section there. It's just like a little bit less than what they could fit in their store, but it is two stories. And in the basement, like, and upstairs, like I almost missed rooms. It's like surprisingly large. So the first book is Flow by Mikhail. I wanted to look up how to pronounce his last name before talking about it. I looked it up because I wanted to be respectful. It is Mikhail Chikset Mihai. Mikai Chikset Mihai. And he is considered like the father of positive psychology, which is a really interesting branch of psychology. It's pretty new. And I took a course on it in college, which I really enjoyed. So I've read some of his stuff already and I've watched his TED Talks and I've been really interested in a lot of the concepts that he's brought to the field of psychology. He's like very, very important for modern theorists. But this book is all about his concept of flow and flow is sort of the process of being so engrossed in an activity that you love and are passionate about that like time passes you by and you don't realize. So a lot of people have been experiencing flow and they don't even know it but it seems to be that this book is all about like how flow is incorporated into our lives, how to foster it and it says that it is the psychology of optimal experience. So I'm definitely intrigued to get to know a little bit more about Positive Psych through this book and through his work. The other book I got at the Strand was The Office, The Untold Story of the Greatest Sitcom of the 2000s by Andy Green. I did not pick this one up for myself despite the fact that I am a like newly, what is the word I'm looking for? A newly integrated Office fan. I decided to pick this one up for Jake because I had mentioned that I had been to the Strand very briefly, that new location, and I went with Jake, and this was one of the books that like we both looked at and thought were really cool. So I told myself that if I ever came back and they still had a copy, I would get it for him, and it was the last copy out, so I was like, I have to. He knows that I'm book shopping today, but has no idea that I got something for him, so I think he's gonna be really excited. And so the book I picked up at McNally Jackson, I already showed you, but it is Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. This is her newest release, and it seems to be like a sort of, um, feels like a really low fantasy contemporary with a supernatural twist, and all I really know about it is that the main character suddenly has the ability to create instant karma on people who do wrong and it's all about like what happens when she like falls in love with a guy because it's YA and it's romance. But Marissa Meyer is a big comfort author for me so I'm excited to read her new release and I'm super happy I have it in my hand. Also I feel like I've been looking in the viewfinder this whole time so I'm sorry if I haven't been paying attention to you all. So I think I am done book shopping in the city today which has been very productive. I'm super pleased with all the shops I visited and all the books I got. It's currently like four o'clock I think and so my goal is to hit two Brooklyn bookstores on my way home as I'm heading back. My first stop in Brooklyn is going to be Books Are Magic, which I don't think I've been to in like two years. So it's been a minute and I'm excited to head back. And then after, I would like to make it to a new bookstore I've never been to, which is the Greenlight Bookstore. There's two locations in Brooklyn, but I think I'm going to be going to, I don't remember which one, but my GPS will take me there. Y'all, I honestly have not been drinking enough water today, so this is your reminder as well. <laughs> I don't know what this book is about, but the cover has me intrigued, so I'm gonna have to check it out later. made it to Books Are Magic, which it was really nice to be there. I forgot how much I absolutely love that bookstore. I'm in the vlog. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, sure. <laughs> it's a good try. Nice. You got it, go for it. 
I did buy my copy of Hood Feminism, which I am really excited to read, but I also decided to pick up this iron-on patch that matches the mural that is on the outside of the bookstore. I don't think I have anything that I could iron it on yet, but I would like to in the future, and for now it is going to stay somewhere on like my bookish wall. Now the last step of the night is going to be the Greenlight Bookstore, so it's just a quick subway ride. I'm gonna check it out for the first time, excited to go somewhere new, and excited to take you all along with me. Yo, honestly though, I do not wanna think about how much money I've spent on books today. <laughs> I definitely need to put myself on a book buying ban ASAP after this. But today was really all about supporting independent bookstores that I love, so I'm super happy with all of my purchases and all of the bookstores that I've been able to get to. If you live in the New York City area, I obviously recommend checking them all out, but if you can't, I believe you can still order from like every bookstore that I've shown online. So I'm gonna leave links to their websites or their bookshop.org pages. So if you want to get some books and support some indies as well, you can do that. Y'all, I was so impressed with myself for not ripping my tights all day because I am a chronic tights ripper and honestly will often rip them before I even leave the house. And look at what just happened. I am sad and sad is me. This was one of the books that I wanted to buy earlier at the Strand, but I already have two books in my hand, so I don't think I should get it. <laughs> Maybe sometime soon. I finished shopping at the Greenlight Bookstore, which means that my day of book shopping is over. I managed to hit seven bookstores in New York City and Brooklyn in about six hours maybe. Pretty freaking impressed with myself, not gonna lie. I literally cannot believe I haven't been to either of the Greenlight Bookstore locations because the Fulton Avenue one or the Fulton Street one, whatever it is, was so nice. It's like a small, quaint, one-story independent bookstore, but they had a huge selection. They also had like a section dedicated to independent presses, which was really cool. I have to find my subway, and I don't know where it is. Oh wait, I think I know where I'm going. So yeah, I definitely need to stop there more frequently because I'm in Brooklyn a lot more than I'm in New York City, and I feel like it could definitely be like a new staple bookshop for me to visit. And I bought two books because I couldn't choose, and maybe it's because I told myself I had to go on a book buying ban that I was like, fuck it, why not get more? And also, they were both non-fiction books. That makes like four non-fiction books that I bought today. Who am I? What have we done with YA connoisseur Emma Books? I am really excited about them all though, and I will show you the two I bought at the Greenlight Bookstore, and then give you like a wrap up of all the books that I bought today when I get back to Jake's. So I'm gonna go head home, head there, take a subway, and hopefully I don't get lost. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention that I took the subway in the wrong direction to the Green Life Bookstore. I only went a couple of stops in the wrong direction, so I hopped off and went back in the right way, and ultimately, it has been a wonderful day. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> I have made it back, and Jake is here. I was already and, here. Well, you were here, but now you're 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 only <laughs> making here. your first I'm appearance here. in the spot. Yes, I'm you're here, here and your computer screen. <laughs> So I wanted to go over all of the books that I bought today with you guys, and Jake doesn't know any of the books that I bought. Cool. So I figured that I would simultaneously share them with you. I'll learn with you. <laughs> so first up, I went to the Strand Bookstore in Union Square. Are you good? I'm peeking. No peeking! <laughs> Hold on, we gotta back down a second. We're in okay. full blown, like adorable five-year-old's voice mode. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be the only way I show up in the videos. No, <laughs> I'm like, I'm mature. Look at my SpongeBob socks. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I got a couple of different bookmarks. I That's feel cool. like I could have gotten more. Like, there would have been more on, at checkout, but I just didn't think to get them. First, I went to The Strand, a classic Love New York City bookstore. 
and the book that i bought is maybe you should talk to someone by Lori gottlieb i know about this book do you Why really do I know about this book i only saw it today and i was like that sounds perfect for me i know about this book did jenna fisher promote this book this is yo Irvin yalom hey what i up, read Irvin? him in school so this seems to be like a memoir about a therapist and her experience like with her her own therapist and like what she learns about herself and her life and I'm assuming how she applies that to her clients. Every therapist has a therapist. Exactly. So I figured it would be like the perfect book for me. When, when Spongebob was talking to the mailman, do you have a mailman? Is it just a chain of never ending chain of mailmen <laughs> delivering mail to other mailmen? I suppose a P.O. box would break the chain. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly how therapy works. <laughs> Next, I went to Books of Wonder. I don't think you've ever been to Books of Wonder. It sounds wonderful. But it is wonderful. Oh, and yeah. they have a new location, which I visited and it was so nice. I can't wait to take you. Cool. And I decided to buy How It All Blew Up by Arvin Amadi. And this is about a Muslim teen who like goes on a trip to Rome and has like an amazing life-changing experience. But on his way back, he gets uh, randomly selected, I believe, and he's detained by the airport security. Arvin is a good author friend of mine, and I've been looking forward to this book uh, since he told me that it was like bought and being published. And I've enjoyed the other books that I've read from him, so I'm really excited for it. I dig the cover art. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Art, yeah. It's really really cool. I like cover art a lot. I don't I don't have the attention span to read as much as you folks. <laughs> I really try, but I love going to bookstores just to like. They're like mini galleries to me. Yeah, for right? real. Yeah. Like, covers are not appreciated enough like with all the work and effort of the artists that they put into it. I want to do someone's cover art. That'd you can do my cover art when I write a book. I would love to do your cover art. <laughs> so then I went to the Strands Uptown location, which we went to very Uptown briefly. Uptown Strand. And it was really nice. I got to explore it a lot more. Cool. Um, and it, it was way bigger than it seemed. Like there's a whole downstairs. Oh, this is the one we went to. More, like, yeah, as yeah, they were yeah. closing, we had to, okay, so. Yeah. Yep. So I bought a book called Flow, oh. The Psychology of Optimal Experience by Mihai Cheek Sent Mihai. Mikai Cheek Sent Mihai. You did that great. I would have never. I, I looked it up in the vlog earlier. Wow. <laughs> I would, have, but I would have called and asked them out of respect. So I actually think that you would really be interested in the concept of flow, which is um, essentially the like space that you get into when you're super engaged in an activity and you're like loving doing it for the sake of doing it, mm. and so much so that like time literally like passes without you realizing totally. it's a really interesting concept and super integral to creativity and like mental well-being and so i've like learned a little bit about him in college so when i saw it it seemed like it would be interesting to read i'm gonna borrow this i know it <laughs> really is a jake book it's a jake book <laughs> so speaking of jake books i might have bought you a gift what? I did. You have to do that. <laughs> well, I did. Okay, what did you Close your eyes. Okay. You can open them. Oh, I wanted this. I know you did. You're so sweet. <laughs> it was the last copy at the, the Strand location, so I was like, I have to. Oh, the Office, the untold story of the greatest sitcom of the 2000s. This is so nice. Yeah, I'm having a lot of feels right now about The Office. It's coming off Netflix at the end of the year, so I've been binging it nonstop mm -hmm. again and again and again, which I've already done. And I've listened all the way through Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey's podcast, The Office Ladies, and I'm just about done with Brian, ba Brian Baumgartner's uh, podcast, who plays Kevin. Um, and I have more Office content. And this is a lot like that one, which is like the story of it. And it really is a fascinating story. It wasn't just... Uh, you know, easy to get going. It took a lot of work. We we accept uh, The Office as like a given staple in television today, but it was bold and difficult to pull off and no one really wanted to do mm -hmm. it. And just a few select people had faith that we would later love it so much and they were right. Oh, this is so sweet. Thank you. You're so welcome. I love you. Thank I love you. you too. Keep going. I'm busy. <laughs> um, um, oh, wait, I you, forgot. You too enjoy the rest of this. <laughs> Um, I bought a tote bag. Nice. Um, that was at the beginning of the day at the Strand because I knew I was going to buy way too many books to fit in my backpack. Smart. So I bought this really cool tote bag. Oh, that's really cool. 
Um, do you recognize the art style? Yes, and like I many famous don't paintings. don't tell me that I know the artist. Oh, P. A. Montaigne. Yes, mm -hmm. I knew it so was something else. So I'm very excited about looking. it, and, and it's like a, a book interpretation. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's really cool, right? I've eyed it for a while, so it's I was excited really to get cool. it, and it came in super clutch today. Hmm? Bam! I'm afraid Thanks you can't see that. the detail. <laughs> Then I went to McNally Jackson in Seaport, which is gorgeous. I'm so excited to show you all the footage I took today. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, so that you can see them without being in them. And I bought a book called Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. More cover art I enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's That's really great. cute, right? And I love like the bright turquoise color. Um, and so this one is a YA novel. It's by one of my like favorite YA authors. And it follows a girl who like gets the ability to put like it like put instant karma on people wow. when they do something wrong. That's cool. So she like gets excited about it and like you know starts you know giving people who deserve it or like people who have like wronged her. Um, and then she ends up like I don't know falling for a guy. It seems. I'm sorry. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh that hurts. <laughs> okay, wait, I have a question. Yeah? You might not know this because you didn't actually read it yet, but I, well, I guess I wonder um, if she can apply it for good, too. Like, what if she witnesses somebody do a really selfless good deed, and then she wants them to, like, find $100 on the ground? Ooh, that's interesting. I didn't even think about how it could be used for positivity. People always think of instant karma as, like, a bad person getting their comeuppance, which I do, too. But um, I've also tried to think of it as, you know, when you do a good thing. Uh, I wonder if that'll be like a theme in the book. I might have just ruined a twist. No, there. you didn't. And then I went to Books Are Magic in Brooklyn. Now we're on to the last of the two Brooklyn stores. First I bought this iron-on patch. Cool. Um, this is like a mural on the outside. Yes, of the... I've seen this. You showed yeah, me a yeah, picture yeah. of it. Yeah. So um, it's the mural and I don't have anything to iron it on yet, I don't think. But I'm just going to put it on my wall, yeah, which fine. I'm excited for. It has a very, um, I'm just killing it with a Spongebob today, it has a very imagination <laughs> vibe to it. Three Spongebob references in five minutes. Oh love God, don't use this. <laughs> and so I decided to buy Hood Feminism, Notes from the Women That a Movement Forgot by Mickey Kendall. Cool. So yeah, it just seems to be like a non-fiction feminist text talking specifically about like the experiences of women of color, women with mental health, and like the ways that uh, white feminism has um, alienated people from the feminist movement. Sure. So I've heard really good things about it and I'm very excited to dive in. Cool. And then lastly, I went to the Greenlight Bookstore in Brooklyn and I bought two books. The first is The Body Keeps Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. And this was initially recommended to me by one of my professors at grad school and then a couple of my classmates had read it and really enjoyed it. So to my understanding, it's kind of just about how like when you experience trauma like your body carries it with you mm, absolutely so it's like all about the triadic relationship between like the body the mind and the brain when healing from trauma um, and people say that's really profound so i'm excited to read it and then this last one i initially was my goal was just to buy like one book from each bookstore and then i bought that extra one for you but nearing the end of the day, I saw this one on the table and I was like, this just seems really applicable to me. So I feel like it would be a good choice. And that is, don't tell me to relax. What? <laughs> just, you're like, very applicable to me. Don't tell me to relax. <laughs> <laughs> very Aries energy. Yes. Um, Emotional resilience in the age of rage, feels, and freakouts Fantastic. by Ralph. De La Rosa. I'm already so sold. Mm -hmm. In the history of all calming down, the words calm down have never calmed anyone down. Exactly. So this sounds legit. I didn't even really read the synopsis fully. I just saw like from politics to climate change and the economy to racism, sexism, and a hundred a hundred other kind of biases. It's all about like fielding the uncertainty in our world and, sure. and how we get burnt out and overwhelmed by a lot of these different issues. So it's kind of using like mindfulness and giving coping strategies for dealing with those types of things um, and like how to integrate them into your life in a healthy way. 
So Ooh. it's also pretty short, and it just seems like it's one that like I would take a lot away, away from. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yes, so I'm like excited. Concept. You did great. Thank you. It was a what very a productive day. So yeah, that really concludes this book shopping vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and seeing all of these different amazing independent bookstores in New York. And if you happen to see any of your favorite books, either ones that I've gotten or ones that you saw on the shelves, I would love to know in the comments below, as well as what some of your favorite independent bookstores are. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for a new one. Bye! You're so far away. I know, but you what am I going to do? It's you the same outro. You're going to be like, bye! <laughs> <laughs>